Hi everyone, I'm really happy to be here with you today because I came from Tunisia for the Deaf Fest here in uh, Prague and it's my first time in uh, this city and country. So, <laughs> yeah, there is some photos of Tunisia. We have the sun, the sea. It's warming, I think, yeah, because it's a little bit cold here. So, uh, yeah, I introduce myself. I'm GDG, Google Developer Group, Cartage Lead in Tunisia. I'm Women Tech Makers Ambassador. I'm a remarkable facilitator with Google, founder and CEO of Lollipop in Tunisia. Uh, UX UI designer uh, and basically graphic designer, university teacher in um, higher school of science and technology of design in Tunisia and local UX design instructor of the UX masterclass by Google. So uh, just a little wink for I'm Remarkable uh, activity, which is an initiative empowering women to celebrate their, uh, their achievements in the workplace and beyond. And recently, I'm facilitator in this uh, workshop. My favorite quote is, happiness doesn't result from what we get, but from what we give. This is why I'm here today. I want to thank GDG uh, uh, Czech Republic, uh, I met Dominic in Google I.O. 18 and uh, we connected. We met again in uh, Firebase Summit in Madrid in, uh, in last September. And now that's why I am here. I just want to wink on community power because it's really, really great. As UX uh, instructor, UX design instructor on uh, Google Developers, uh, we give this masterclass once per month, and our targets are startups, uh, teams of four and six, based of engineers, product managers, and designers. We cover topics: the process of taking products from ideas, concepts uh, to launch, sketching, user testing prototyping who, how to drive continuous improvements after launch to keep your user engaged. So, you're here today to, for this topic, how to improve your mobile applications through user experience design. Today we will cover what is the user, design, uh, user experience design uh, and why does it matter? how to solve real problems through user experience design uh, process, and what's the difference between user experience and user, uh, user interface. Um, I want just to ask, who's developer here? Okay, nice. Designers? <laughs> Both? Um, cooking? <laughs> okay, nice. So, uh, when we work on mobile applications, we start with the idea, and uh, it's an innovative one, new concept. After that, we talk about features, how to do this technically. We meet the team. The team is ready. They design and they develop. This is right. This is what you do. No? Okay. <laughs> so after that, we uh, after finishing the coding and designing, we upload in uh, the app on if it's a mobile application, of course, in uh, Google Play. We create a Facebook page to promote the app. Maybe Instagram too, and we pray. We wait for people to upload the app. This is right. Okay, but why leave it to chance? Have we wondered about those people who will use our product or upload our app? Did we ask they will upload why they will upload the app? And did, did we ask why they need this app and not another one. Content of 
your mobile application or website is very important. Okay, but the experience using the app is important too. Caring about users also and their experience can improve our apps. This is why user experience design is so important. So what is user experience design? User experience design or user-centered design is everything you need to know to think about and to do to make sure that you are launching the right product for the right people. And why UX design matters? Because access to your competitor is only even a tape or two away. How we can improve your, our apps through user experience design? Do you have an idea? Okay. With users. Okay. What kind of tests? <laughs> okay. Do you know or not? Okay. This is why you're here. <laughs> so, when we talk about uh, user centered design, it means that we have to care about our users, we have to know them. We have to do tests, maybe in the first time do researches to ask about those people, their needs and their uh, constraints in their lives. After that, the second point is we have to solve real problems for real users. How do you know that we are solving, trying to solve real, real uh, problems for real users? Mm -hmm. We ask. Okay, there is some methods, and uh, we are talking about that later. Okay, you have. We have to put prioritize our the best for your users and do researches of course to understand those users and we have to do many types of researches to understand their needs and problems five point which is very very important too that you have to adapt your product because it's never done okay Based on research and user feedback and market changes, adapt your plans and base it on what you learned from testing your product for the users. You have to learn from big companies how they are using uh, new features every day and put them in every uh, mobile application or website to test them with, with users to have feedbacks and how uh, they can improve their products like this. We can make things easier maybe. The design process, the user experience design process. We talked about uh, how we have to know our users. It's called empathy. When uh, you are empathic, means that you will uh, focus on the user and learn from him and to put yourself in his place. The second step is you, we will define problems and needs of those users based on researches. The third step is ideation. We uh, think about solutions that can solve these problems. After that, we start by prototyping wireframes, low fidelity, high fidelity, low fidelity as sketches, high fidelity as Adobe XD or Sketch on Mac. After that, we launch the product after coding and designing, of course. This is the UX design process. Not quite right. There is something missing. Feedback. Yeah, I add, just added the test user testing in the end because after launching, maybe we have to test the product, have feedbacks, and come back with empathy, user needs, and problems. 
I just put a color on test to make it different because it's we cannot do better than this. Actually, the test process or step we cannot put it in every uh, between two steps. So between um, empathy and definition, we have to test results we have uh, done, we ha researches we have done, and results we are making to define these uh, problems and needs. After that, testing again to define solutions, prototyping, etc. But actually, there is many types of researches, of tests and the researches. I just put some colors um, to make sure that there, these, we are talking about many types of tests. Remember, user testing and user research allow us to know if we, we are launching the right product or for the right people. Why we do user researches? Who knows the question? The answer, sorry. Okay, what else? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. But we have to spend money on these researches and tests, no? Okay. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we have to convince, I think we have to convince uh, com big companies of that. Not in, maybe in Tunisia, because now they are starting to be aware of the importance of user experience designer in the whole process. It saves time. It saves money. It uncovers new opportunities. How that? Do you know? While testing, sorry, yeah. Yeah, because testing uh, with users, they are, it's, it permits to um, them to listen to them, and users are always asking for more, uh, maybe features or uh, maybe things to make better uh, the ex their experiences, In, even with mobile applications or even websites or even a cooking uh, thing or uh, whatever. Um, it can answer questions with data and know when we are launch, your, your launch is ready. Here uh, I will talk more deeper about these types of um, tests. Um, did you hear about these type of tests? Did you use them before or not? <laughs> okay, how that? Can you please talk about your experience? NDA, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I didn't understand. Not Okay, okay. Actually, um, I discovered this uh, user research methods uh, in the first UX masterclass I've done with Google in 2016. And it was really uh, something great because before I had a class, online class, but I didn't know how to use these methods. Um, after that, I um, started learning about this more and I uh, just discovered that to have qualitative and quantitative uh, results, we have to do uh, some tests. Foundational tests, is, it's, um, it have to be done in the first step with ideation and uh, uh, of course, uh, empathy to know if uh, our concept, um, how to say that, uh, we can we can uh, work on our concept or not. Second, concept tests. After uh, making the idea more clear for us, for the team, we start sketching the uh, features on paper, right? But before that, I missed something. 
we knew our users, right? We did uh, some surveys to collect data about our users' ages, needs, if they are female or uh, male or female, etc. And uh, we uh, defined our uh, foundational tests and the researches. The concept test is made on the first step. Here, we have to test our sketches with users we define it. And for these tests, we, have, uh, we can test with only five people for one iteration um, to validate features if they are okay, uh, if they're worth to uh, be coded or not. Um, these tests and researches, uh, with these tests and research, we can have uh, qualitative results and the, maybe the important when we have launched your product is usability test. Do you know the usability test? Did you hear about it or not before? Yeah, okay. And how we can uh, work with usability tests? What do you think? Measure time to the mm -hmm. What else? For example, okay, we have three methods to validate usability tests. We have ex experimental tests. We have to do them with designers or developers to make sure that uh, design and code is uh, good and uh, it's uh, the flow is is right for users. Um, we have uh, other tests with real users to finish all the flow of the um, application that we are making. And uh, the third one, uh, we can uh, make um, surveys to ask those people, uh, users, what they think about the app and uh, give, have feedbacks from, from after using the application. Okay. Quantitative, re quantitative results. We can have them by uh, sending or having surveys with the users to put questions, how many maybe can use the app after uh, or before launching, if uh, they are um, kids, teenagers or uh, adults, and how many people, how many adults, how many are interesting. Engagement metrics. I think the developers knows some of engagement metrics. Who knows? Uh, Firebase, maybe. Yeah. And we can I use Firebase to collect data? Right. Right. Hmm? Sorry. Google Analytics, yes, and uh, ma uh, heat mapping, where we can find the colors of uh, red, blue, and uh, etc. How um, users are engaged and how many are, are engaged. And A/B testing. A/B testing means that uh, we have two products, two uh, proposition or of the same feature or the the. Um, same feature or features, and we have to test two, the two of them and to validate one of them. We cannot do that on prototypes or maybe on uh, prototypes, um, sketches or prototypes with uh, on the phone or uh, web uh, uh, websites. So these results are combined to make sure that we are having the exact data to uh, to uh, for um, to improve our app mobile applications after this i just want to uh, make a little wink on user interface who knows the difference between user interface and user experience design yeah what <laughs> Okay, why when we expose a, a job, we ask for user experience designer or user experience designer, user interface designer, or the both, the user, user UX and UI designer? Maybe companies 
ask for. Mm -hmm. Okay, and user experience designer have to be user interface designer or not? Maybe not, yeah. Because actually, um, I'm talking about maybe Tunisia and uh, my country. Uh, people are confusing between the two uh, positions. User experience designer, user interface designer. Um, to uh, resume that user experience designer, who's the person who do all the tests, all the researches, he cannot be a developer, he cannot be a designer, he cannot be a psychologist, he cannot be a sociologist, someone who never code or design an app or a website, but he cares about all the process of user experience design. But when we solve real problems with user experience design and design features, we can think about the colors and typography and icons. That's why it's called user interface, because it's how it looks like. And we have to make a product that feels uh, that is usable, functional and beautiful. So this is user experience design. It's about usability tests, user researches, user st uh, stories and journeys, and wireframes. User interface is about layout, how it looks like, visual design, branding, color study, etc. So, um, just this to finish my talk that. Um, GTGs is about making good things together. Uh, and thanks again for uh, being here. Uh, this is my Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. If you have any questions, uh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, can we please get to Slido? Do you guys have any, any questions? No questions or just typing? Like, <laughs> wave, it, wave at me if you're typing. <laughs> All right then, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> thank, thank you, you as well. There is no questions? Okay, thank you.